And today I'm going to show you how to make this house, but that is not actually the goal. I actually want to show you something first, and after that, if you want to follow how I made this house, then you can. Here's actually what I want to show you. If you click on this house, I want you to notice this rounded arrow and this rounded arrow. They allow you to rotate any object. So if I click on this and turn it, you can see that the object is moving. At first, like this, kind of stilted, but if you move the cursor farther out, it lets you go by degrees, individual, single degrees. You go inside, and then it looks like it's going by a certain amount, 22.5 it looks like. Same thing here. You go on the inside, it lets you rotate by 22.5 to get to 90. But if you move the cursor outside of the circle, you can move by individual degrees. One more thing though, is that there is one more direction you can turn this, but you can't really see it here because it's right there. You see how you can barely see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold the mouse, and then I'm going to rotate the building or this, this little house. And now you can see it better. There it is. And it allows, allows you to rotate it in the Z axis. I'm going to turn it a little bit more so you can see it better. So there you go. On the bottom or inside the circle, it goes by 22.5. On the outside, you can move it individually. If you hit, hit the shift button, it'll go by 45 degrees. No matter where you do that, it, it will go 45 degrees each time. And now, if you look over here, you'll see that you can barely see this one. And again, if you hit the shift, it allows you to turn. Okay, so that's what I wanted to, to, wanted to show you for this particular lesson. But I'll also, also show you how I make this house. I'm going to start with this block. Okay, so there is this block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this box. Actually, no, let's, let's make a roof over this thing. That way I can show you how I use the rotation button. I'm going to copy and paste this. So now I have two of them. And that's going to be part of my roof. I'm going to raise this. And with my arrows, I'm just going to drag this over a little bit. Okay kind of far, so this is where I'd like to use the rotation tool. I'm going to use the shift bar, and there it is. Perfect 45, and yeah, it's not bad. I am going to move it a little bit closer to the house, or the top of the house, there. As you can see, it's not aligned perfectly, so I'm going to move it over a little. I'm not sure if you see this, but it's hanging to the right a little but almost perfect on the left. You know what, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna leave it like that. Here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna find out the exact measurement of this cube, 20 by 20, and this, I want it to be 20 as well. So I click on this, and it's 21, which explains what's going on there. There, now it aligns perfectly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this, copy, paste, and I'm going to rotate it using this one down here. I'm going to hit the shift so I can get the perfect rotation. Obviously, I don't want the roof to look like that. And there you go. We have the roof. And I think I'm going to group these two. Yeah, let's group them, make them one. Now, how did I make this house hollow? Well, this is what I actually did. I'm gonna drag this over here. And if you can see, yep, there it is. You can see that the house, or the, the cube, the solid cube and the transparent cube are the exact same size. Don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this one and I want it to be, let's see, 18 for this one and 18 for this side. And now, I'm going to center it using the arrows. And you see the height hasn't changed. And I'm going to group all of them together now. There's, There it is. Now you can see that they're both hollow. 
what I'm going to do now is add a triangle in here, a triangular wall to finish that. And there it is. And I'm going to move it up. And does that fit? Did it seal everything? It looks like it did. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shorten this to about two. I don't think that actually happened. So let me change that again. This one, two. There it is. And then I'm going to move it back with the arrow key. Okay, that's not bad. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy, paste with my keyboard shortcuts. And then over here, there, that should hold that. Now I'm going to group that. Now it's all one piece. We're almost done with this house. Now for the door, I'm going to grab this here. And I'm just going to eyeball this, drag it over. I think the door is a little too tall, so I'm going to move it down a little bit, place it where I want. All right, it's not going to interfere with anything else. Group it by selecting everything first. There it is. Obviously not the same height or width, but still same thing. Again, another one. Now this one. I'm going to, you see how it's pointing down right now? If I tilt it slightly upward, now the arrow is pointing up. Now I can drag it up. I'm going to move this over slightly with the arrow keys. I'm not liking that it's moving in one millimeter segments. I want one tenth. Let's see, let me move it closer to the house. There it is. Uh, do you see how it goes from bright blue to just a regular blue when you get close to the house. All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to group it. And if you look closely, you won't see anything at all. Why? It wasn't close enough to the house. So I'm going to keep on moving it closer to the house. There you go. Let's see if it went through. I don't want this window to go through. I just want it to look like there's a window there, but not actually have one. Yep, that looks good. And there's our house. Not bad. Well, hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy playing.